Hello there and welcome back to our course on Access 2019. So far we've been setting up the fields in the trip table of the Esprit de Tour database. And we're now going to add all of the remaining ones which are all numeric. So the first one that we're going to add is the duration of the trip in days. So again let's refer back to our notepad file and you can see the duration here is eight days. So I'm going to add in a field name and I'm going to say duration days and this time the data type is going to be number because it's a numeric field. Now if we glance down to the properties for the field you can see here it says field size long integer and we have a whole host of different options. Now depending on how much you know about the way numbers are stored you may or may not be able to choose a number field size so you might not know if it's integer or byte or single or double. You might not have any idea what those are and it is a little bit confusing in that way but there is help on this in Access Help. So let's jump into help by pressing our F1 key. Now because I was clicked in that property field, it's actually jumped me to the correct page within help that I need. If we scroll down, you can see a description here of those different options. So you can see here, if we were to choose byte, that would store numbers from 0 to 255. So if we use byte to store the duration of the trip, the longest number of days for our trip could be 255 days, which is roughly eight or nine months. Now that's pretty good, but it might be that as this grows, we might have trips that are longer than that. So it's probably going to be better for us to go to the next one up, which is integer. So you can see here, integer stores numbers from minus 32,768 to plus 32,000 767, which is a pretty long trip. So to be on the safe side, I'm probably going to select integer for my trip. Now, while we're here, I would definitely say it's worth looking through, reading through the rest of these different field types, just so you become familiar with them as you set up your database. So I'm going to close this down and in my field size property, I'm going to select integer. Now so far we've been ignoring some of these other properties. I want to make sure that when people are storing the duration of the trip they are storing a positive duration. So we don't want a trip that has minus days, we always want it to be on the positive side. So in this property where we have validation rule I'm going to say it always must be greater than zero days. And I'm going to add some validation text to that. So we're going to put in duration must be greater than zero. Is the duration required? Yes, it is. Every trip must have a duration. Do we want it to be indexed? Yes, we do, because people will often search on the length of a trip before they select it. And I'm going to say yes, duplicates OK, because we could have multiple trips with the same duration. And I'm going to add a description, which is going to say duration of trip in days. So let's now test this out and test some of those rules and properties that we've set up. I'm going to jump back to Datasheet View. I'm going to save, of course. I'm going to say no to testing at this moment in time and I'm going to go to duration. Now I'm going to just first enter in a minus number so I'm going to say minus three days and there we go I get a little pop-up that says duration must be greater than zero so I can see that those validation checks that I've done there are working correctly. Let's change this now to plus eight days and that allows me to enter that with no issue. Now the final thing we need to do with regards to numeric values is price range. So again, let's look at our notepad file. You can see the price range here, excluding flights, is $3,080 to $3,112. And essentially, if you have a price range, it should be stored as two separate values. So a minimum price and a maximum price. 
And the reason why we have a, a price range in general terms is that when someone books a specific tour, so one instance of the trip, there will be a set of specific prices for that tour. So we might have things like special offers for families, things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to store a minimum price and a maximum price. So let's jump back to design view. I'm going to say price minimum. And the data type here is going to be currency. Now the currency will be selected based on whatever you have it set up as. So my default is US dollars, which is what my currency is going to be in. I'm going to add a description. So minimum price of trip. I'm going to set some properties. So I'm going to say my validation rule, the price must be greater than zero. And my validation text is minimum price must be positive. Is this a required field? Yes, it is. Every trip must have a price. And is it going to be indexed? Yes, because I would say that this is probably one of the main things that people search on, and that is the price of a trip. And I'm going to do exactly the same for price maximum. We're going to select currency. Maximum price of trip. Validation, it must be greater than zero. OK, so let's now jump back to data shape view. We're going to save. I'm going to say no to testing. And what you can see here immediately is that for these two new fields, the price minimum and price maximum, Access has automatically put in my currency in the correct format for me, which is really good. I don't have to go in and change anything. So I'm going to grab my minimum price. I'm just going to do a quick copy and paste. So minimum. And let's do the maximum. So that's it. I've now finished the definition of the trip table and we will need to load some more data later on. But that's it on the trip table for now. It's now time for you to do exercise one. So I will see you over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free Microsoft Access 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, click over there. and. Click over there to watch all the videos in this Access 2019 playlist.